Web development is among the most in-demand technologies in today's market. So if you are an aspiring web developer and don't know where to start, here is Wajiha from Edureka with the whole new session on Web Developer Roadmap. Before we start with the session, let's take a quick look at today's agenda. We're going to start off by discussing who exactly is a web developer, followed by the technical skills that are required to become a web developer. Since web development can be divided into three sections, that is front-end, back-end, and full-stack, we're going to be discussing all the technologies that you need to know in order to become a web developer in any of the three domains. Finally, we'll be discussing about the non-technical skills that are required. So coming back towards the session, who exactly is a web developer? In general, professionals who create websites and web applications are known as web developers. These professionals make use of various methodologies in order to create websites. The applications that were created earlier followed the traditional web application model. Today, web applications are mostly single-page applications that are compatible both with desktops and mobiles. As I've already mentioned earlier, web developers can be of three types. That's basically front-end, back-end, and full-stack developers. A front-end developer is someone who implements web design through programming languages like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Front-end developers work with the design and the outlook of the website. If you head to any site, you can see the work of a front-end developer in the navigation, layouts, and also the way a site looks different from your phone. Backend developers, on the other hand, are responsible to work on what goes behind the scenes like databases. They create, write the code, and improve the server, server-side applications, and databases. Backend developers study industry trends, create or improve backend processes and codes, and work with others to design a better program. A full-stack developer is someone who has good understanding of how the web works at each and every level, including setting up and configuring Linux or Windows servers, coding server-side APIs, running the client side of the application using JavaScript, operating and querying the databases, and structuring and designing the web page with CSS and JavaScript. Now that you have a brief idea of who exactly is a web developer, let's move on and take a look at the skills that are required to become a web developer. The first thing that we're going to discuss is the front-end developer skills. So in this section, we're going to discuss about the top 10 most important technical skills that are required for a front-end web developer. The first and foremost is HTML and CSS. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and it is the most basic building block required for developing websites. CSS, or Cascading Style Sheets, is the language that is used for presenting the document you create with HTML. HTML is used for creating the foundation of your page, whereas CSS is used to create the layout of the page, color, font, and styles. Both of these languages are absolutely essential to become a front-end developer. JavaScript along with jQuery. Another important tool for a front-end developer is JavaScript. If you are trying to implement interactive features in your websites, such as audio and video, games, scrolling abilities, page animations, etc., JavaScript is the tool you need to know. jQuery is a library of JavaScript, which is among the most used libraries across the world. It basically is a collection of plugins and extensions that make it faster and easier to use JavaScript on your website. jQuery takes common tasks that require multiple lines of JavaScript code and compresses them into a format that can be executed with a single line. Frameworks As front-end developers, it is important that you have sound knowledge of frameworks and libraries such as Angular, React, Vue, etc. These are basically frameworks and libraries that are based on JavaScript. JavaScript frameworks are collections of CSS or JavaScript files that perform different tasks by providing common functionality. Instead of starting with an empty text document, you can start with a code file that has lots of JavaScript present already in it. Responsive design. We use different gadgets like computers, phones, and tablets to look at web pages. The web pages adjust themselves to the device you're using without any extra effort from your end. This is due to the responsive design feature. It is an intrinsic part of CSS frameworks like the Bootstrap. Version control or Git. Version control is the process of tracking and controlling changes to your source code. It is a tool that you can use to track the changes made previously so that you can go back to a previous version of your work and find out what went wrong without tearing the whole thing down. Testing and debugging. A front-end developer must possess the skill and ability to test and debug the code. There are different testing methods for web development. 
Functional testing looks at a particular piece of functionality on your site and ensures it does everything according to the code. Unit testing is another method that tests the smallest bit of code and examines it individually for correct operation. Testing is a big part of front-end development process and there are a number of frameworks that will help you in this regard. Browser developer tools. Browser developer tools usually consist of an inspector and a JavaScript console. The inspector allows you to see what the runtime HTML on your page looks like, what CSS is associated with each element on the page, and also allows you to edit your HTML and CSS and see the changes live as they happen. Web performance. It is important to make sure that your website performs smoothly without any glitch. Web performance defines the amount of time it takes for your website to load. Programs like Grunt and Gulp can be used to automate image optimization, CSS and JS minifying, and other web performance scores. It helps in making your website more efficient. CSS processing. CSS processor is an advanced version of CSS. This is used to enhance the primary class of CSS to create better versions of the website. It is not just a language to improve the styling elements, but it helps the developer to skip tasks like writing CSS selectors and color strings frequently. Command line. GUI is an important part of web development and coding as well. But an all-purpose GUI is going to have its limitations for some specific applications. Sometimes, you may need to open a terminal on your computer where you can enter typed commands or command lines to get what you need. Although the majority of the work is done through a GUI, you can add serious cred to your front-end skills if you have mastery of the command line. So these were some of the technical skills that are required by front-end developers. Now let's talk about the skills that are required by back-end developers. The back-end developer layer forms a dynamic connection between the front-end and the database. To get this layer working, it's important to know at least one of the programming languages like Python, Java, PHP, Ruby, etc. And the knowledge of server-side frameworks such as Node.js is a must. Python is an open-source object-oriented programming language that was released in 1991 and ever since it has become one of the most favorite languages of software developers and web developers. Java is also an open-source high-level programming language which was released by Sun Microsystems in 1996. It follows the write once, run anywhere approach that makes it compatible to run on any platform. Another popular web development language is PHP. It is an open source server side scripting language used to develop the backend logic of an application. It is a powerful tool for making dynamic and interactive websites. Node.js is an open source JavaScript framework used specifically for creating the backend or the server side of an application. Through Node.js, JavaScript can now finally run on the server side of the web as well. Data and database. The data layer is a massive warehouse of information. It contains a database repository that captures and stores information from the front end through the back end. A prerequisite is to have the knowledge of how data is stored, edited, retrieved, etc. An understanding of databases such as MySQL, MongoDB, etc. is a must. MySQL is basically an open source relational database management system that provides multi user access and supports multi storage engines. MongoDB is known for its ease of use and its quickness in handling a large amount of data. It is an open source object oriented NoSQL database which is highly scalable and it's efficient in handling unstructured data. Server setup. To make a website accessible publicly on the internet, it needs to be installed on a server. Once you have your domain name and server space, it's time to set up the site on the server. The first thing is to direct the domain name to the server's unique IP address. Then you need to set up the website files and finally the database and other configurations. Deployment tools. To get files from your own computer up to the server, you need a protocol. This is basically a method of transporting files or other data and to and from a server. The deployment tool stores your FTTP or SFTP settings and when a change is published in Git to the master branch, the tool will transfer the files for you. Therefore, there is no need to remember which file you changed, reducing the number of mistakes you make. The next important skill is the knowledge of JavaScript frameworks and libraries. Some of the most important JavaScript frameworks and libraries are Angular, React, Vue, jQuery, etc. So those were the skills that are required in order to become a backend developer. So talking about full stack web developers. 
A full stack web developer must know how to create and maintain the front end and the back end of a web application and they also must be proficient with the various languages used to develop a web application. Skills that are required by full stack developers. A full stack developer needs to have an in-depth understanding of the web architecture and communication protocols like HTTP, TCP IP, etc. They should be skilled in working with deployment operating systems like Ubuntu, Cent OS, Windows, etc. They also should have a sound knowledge of web servers and basic UI UX designing abilities. A full stack developer should be proficient in the front end technologies such as HTML, CSS and JavaScript. They should be able to design and develop the UI using the web development frameworks and libraries that I've already mentioned earlier. Also, full stack developers are required to have good amount of knowledge of server side programming languages like Java, Python, PHP, Ruby, etc. as well as server side frameworks such as Node.js. They should be well versed in operating and querying relational and NoSQL database management systems such as MongoDB, MySQL, etc. Apart from that, a full stack developer also should know how to operate and manage the version control systems such as Git, Subversion, etc. So that sums up the technical skills that are required by all three that is the front end, back end, and full stack developers. Also, not to forget, the knowledge of DevOps can give you an edge. DevOps is basically a combination of two words that is development and operations. DevOps is a practice that allows a single team to manage the entire application development life cycle that is development, testing, deployment and monitoring. The ultimate goal of DevOps is to decrease the duration of systems development life cycle while delivering features, fixes and updates frequently in close synchronization with business objectives. Now that you know the technical skills that are required, Let's move on and take a look at the non-technical skills that you need to possess in order to fetch you the best web development job in the market. As a web developer, it is very important that you possess the appropriate technical skills. But at the same time, to make efficient products, it is also important to communicate with the clients and grasp ideas. To do this, you should be well versed with verbal and vocal communication skills. Also, to work with the team, you need to possess the basic lessons of teamwork as well. One thing that all developers must have regardless of the job description or official title is excellent problem solving skills. From figuring out how to best implement a design to fixing bugs that crop up, figuring out how to make the front end code work for the back end code, development is all about creative problem solving skills. To conclude, all I'd like to say is that becoming a web developer requires good amount of effort and dedication. But is it worth all the effort? Yes, it definitely is. So with this, we've reached the end of this session. I hope you've understood the roadmap and the skills that you need to master in order to become a web developer. We'll be back with more and more exciting sessions. But till then, goodbye and take care.